The Dick Van Dyke Show. Prince Charming promised to slay dragons for me. But he won't even get up to have breakfast with me on his day off. Well, I guess it's natural for a husband to behave this way after so many years of marriage. But I still feel like eating breakfast with him. I wonder if he's getting tired of me. I never noticed these lines before. Maybe he has. Oh, I'm just being silly. We're not married that long. Rob, are you asleep? Huh? You want to have breakfast with me? What time is it? Well, it's uh, after nine. How much after? A minute. <laughs> Rob, don't you want to have breakfast with me? Oh, do I have to? No, you don't have to if you'd rather just lie there. Oh, yeah, I would. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just have to have breakfast alone again. No, wait for me, honey. I'll eat with you. When? In two hours? Rob, if I wait till 11, I'll faint. Good idea. <laughs> All right. Honey, would you pull a curtain? The light's in my eyes. <laughs> all day? No, just till 11, honey. Wake me at 11. Sleep. Feeling better? All those extra two hours sleep really set me up. Sure. What time did you get up? Oh, well, I've been up since seven. Oh, then you've had your breakfast. Mm -mm, waited for you. Well, you must be starving, honey. How'd you do that? It's easy. I set the alarm ahead two hours. Good idea. <laughs> do you mean I didn't get those extra two hours sleep? Well, uh, how much extra sleep did I get? About seven seconds. <laughs> oh, boy, am I tired. Rob, you've had eight hours. No, but that was last night. <laughs> I'd like to get a couple hours in the morning. Oh, Rob, you... Shani. How's my old lady? What did you say? Oh, no. I said, how's my old lady? Well, I don't know. I haven't spoken to your mother lately, but I'm fine. <laughs> oh, touche. Honey, there's pits and seeds and orange flesh in this orange juice. You know how meticulous I am about my orange flesh. Not too meticulous about the way you dress, are you? My, don't you look dashing. Well, I thank you, my dear. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Uh, 
gray hair. So? So, congratulations. Today you're a woman. Here, you want to press it in a book or have it bronzed? Do you want your breakfast now? Sure. <laughs> Honey, are you uh, angry with me for something? What makes you think that? <laughs> that makes me think that. So I've been joking around with you. You haven't been joking back. You mean I'm not my usual pleasant self? Honey, are you angry with me because I didn't have breakfast with you? No, I'm not. You're not angry? No, I am not angry. <laughs> Honey, who have you got in there? I am feeding your eggs. What do you want with them? Oh, I don't know. A smile might be nice. <laughs> I think I'll go back and uh, start the whole day over again. While you're at it, you might choose something a little less formal to wear. Well, honey, this is my day off outfit. <laughs> That's it. You're angry with me because of the way I'm dressed. Well, do you like the way you look? Yes, I do look pretty yucky at that. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. I'll go in and change. No, no, you don't have to change on my account. Well, whose account am I going to change on? <laughs> I, I can't see how yucky I look. Well, I can. I mean, don't you care that I can see you looking this way? You just excuse me. I don't know, honey. You always told me before I look cute when I'm sloppy. You don't look cute. You look like someone who doesn't care if... if... Who, who doesn't care of what? Well, if I walked around like that, I... I mean, if a husband really cares about... Well, all I know is that if... Well, if the bloom is off the rose, then... <laughs> and if two married people can't... Well, then I say, what's the use? Honey, <laughs> well, Nate, what are you trying to say? You just don't care. Don't care about what? Well, if you don't know what you don't care about, then I'm certainly not going to tell you. Honey, <laughs> well, I don't know what you just said. I don't know what you're so upset about. Now, I know it has something to do with my sleeping late and my general yuckiness. <laughs> Honey, I don't like to see you this way. Now, is there anything I can do? Yes, just eat your eggs. <laughs> oh. Honey, honey, you can you can stop crying. I'm eating my eggs. <laughs> With you, Laura. We've been addressing envelopes for an hour now, and all you can say is, uh-huh, or hmm. Are you all right? I'm fine. Everything all right with you and Rob? Why do you ask that? Oh, I don't know. You've noticed something between us, haven't you? No, not at all. I just asked... No, Millie, you did notice something now, didn't you? Well, I'm noticing it now. What's happened? Oh, Millie, I've seen it happen to other married couples but I just never thought I'd see it happen to Rob and me. I mean, that... that Rob, that my... that... What? That my own husband... What? Would... Laura, you're making me nervous. What happened? <laughs> this. He hit you in the head? <laughs> no, of course not. Well, what are you showing me? Well, can't you see the gray hair? Gray hair? Where? I don't see any gray hair. Well, it was there yesterday. Rob pulled one out. Oh, Millie, I'm getting old. Oh, come on, Laura. One gray hair isn't going to make you old. Yeah, well, it's not just the gray hair. It's Rob's whole attitude toward me. You can stuff that one. You mean he's not as attentive as he used to be? No, he's not. He doesn't look at me the same way he used to either. Well, why should he? He's got you memorized. He knows you're pretty, and he takes it for granted. Yeah, that's it. For granted. Everything in our lives is just too for granted. We each know exactly what the other is going to think and do. There just aren't any more surprises left. Well, you have to make them. Well, how do you do that? Well, whenever Jerry starts taking me for granted, I have a simple remedy. What? I just bleach my hair. 
You bleach your hair? Uh-huh. It's amazing what happens. Jerry will stare at me as though he's looking at a whole new lady. <laughs> he gets very affectionate, too. <laughs> Millie, do you think that if I bleach my hair that... No, I couldn't. <laughs> Why not? Well, I don't think Rob would approve of me as a blonde. How does he feel about Marilyn Monroe and Bridget Bardo? <laughs> Millie, I'll do it. Oh, oh, what do we do? Do I can go home and finish it. Not this one. My wife wouldn't let me bring it in the house. <laughs> Look, you guys, if you want to call it a day, go home. Rob, I'm here to work. If you want to work, let's work. Well, you're doing your nails. I figured you had a date. Well, as a matter of fact, I have, but it's, uh, it's a kind of a day where it's better if I show up a little late, like two or three days. <laughs> oh, one of those, huh? Yeah. Hey, whatever happened to all those prospective bridegrooms you used to have hanging around here? Well, they're still around. Yeah? There's uh, Doubting Charlie. There's... Doubting Charlie? Yeah, he keeps proposing, and I keep saying yes, but he just won't believe me. <laughs> Remember that guy you used to have around with a... He had kind of an ear like this and a funny nose, you know, like this? You mean Woodrow Glimpshire? That's him, Woodrow yeah, Glimpshire. He's got a mother problem. Yeah, he got a name problem, too. <laughs> See, Woodrow's mother wants him to wait a little while. She doesn't want him to get married until I'm too old. Well, who's the lucky little gent tonight? Herman. Who's Herman? Please, let's not talk about him before dinner. Where'd you meet this Herman? Woodrow's mother introduced us. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Sal, what's he like? Herman? Yeah. Well, Herman is, uh, uh, bleh. Bleh. Herman Bleh. I think I know him. Oh. <laughs> Done around here. Look, gang, go on home, will you? I'm sorry, I've been such a big drag today. Yeah. You know, you have been a drag. What's the matter? You sick or something? No, I'm not sick. Don't you know our chief well enough by now? When he's sick, he works harder. When he broods, it's one of two things. One, he had a fight with Laura, or two, Laura had a fight with him. True or false? True. Well, what was the beef about? I don't know. We didn't fight long enough for me to find out. <laughs> Oh, one of those, and if you don't know, I'm, I'm certainly, certainly not, not going to tell you. <laughs> hey, Rob, did she give you a hint? Well, she was about to at one point, and then she started to cry. Oh, this kid is in trouble. Hey, Rob, why don't you do like I do? Yeah, why don't you do like he does? What do you do? <laughs> I just looked down my list of all the things that wives get upset about. Good thinking. No, I've been doing that all day, buddy. It hasn't got me anywhere. Well, maybe your list isn't as full as mine. The longer you're married, the longer the list. <laughs> hey, how about uh, jealousy? No, uh, I tried that. It couldn't be jealousy. Laura doesn't cry when she's jealous. She just sits there and smiles. She smiles? Yeah, like this. <laughs> Have you insulted your mother-in-law lately? No, I love my mother-in-law. I never insult her. That's just it. You're neglecting the old bat. <laughs> you got to insult them or they, they think you don't care. You know, there's an education. I got to remember this if Woodrow's mother ever proposes. <laughs> How about presents? Presents? Yeah, like uh, for special occasions. Well, like what? Birthday, anniversaries. Uh, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day. Bastille Day, Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> Except for Bastille Day and Rosh Hashanah, I think I'm all squared away. <laughs> Did you take the garbage out? Every night. More important, have you taken her out? You know, almost as often as the garbage. <laughs> Rob, have you told her how pretty she is and, and that you love her so much you just can't work? Oh, sh... Sal, you're kidding, but you know something? I think you might have hit it. You know, I can't remember the last time I told her I loved her. See, Sally is right. Listen, the worst thing that can happen to a woman <laughs> is that she go out on a date with one unpolished fingernail. <laughs> Hey, listen, gang, thanks a lot. I'm sorry it's been such an unproductive day. What do you mean, unproductive? I got in a beautiful eight hours sleep. <laughs> I got my nails done and saved your marriage. I think it's been a beautiful day. Here's your coat, Sal. Ah. 
Tally-ho. Holy cow. Hello? Oh, hi, Rob. Uh, it's Millie. Laura's in the other room. Just a minute and I'll get her. Laura? It's Rob. Oh, no, I can't talk to him this way. Laura, you're being foolish. She'll be with you in a minute. You look beautiful. I look hideous. I disagree, but even if you do, he can't see you on the phone. <laughs> oh, Millie, I don't know why I ever let you talk me into it. I can't stand the way I look. Rob will love it, you'll see. Hello, Rob? What? What did you say? Sing that again. Well, I don't think it was that good, but if you insist... I dreamed of Laura with the dark brown hair. Did you tell him about my hair? I didn't say anything but hello. Well, then why is he singing about my dark brown hair? I don't know. It's just a coincidence. Honey, what's going on there? Oh, uh, nothing, darling, nothing. Millie just asked me a question. Uh, what'd you call about? Well, nothing really. Well, you just called to sing about my hair? Well, actually, I called to tell you I love you and... I'd like to be your friend again. Well, you, you didn't call about my hair, then. I didn't call about your hair. Why would I do that? Well, I don't know. I pick up the phone, and there you are singing about my dark brown hair. I mean, Rob, do you really like my hair? I mean, really like my hair? Honey, I love your hair. Well, well honey, what if I were a blonde? Would I be as attractive to you if I were a blonde? Uh... I can't picture you as a blonde, honey. No, wait a minute. Yes, I can. You know who you'd look like? Who? Harpo Marx. <laughs> he said I'd look like Harpo Marx. And I do. Honey, you... you're not uh, considering bleaching your hair, are you? Oh, no, I'm not considering that. Good. Don't you dare. I married a brunette, honey. If I wanted a blonde, I could have married Bridget Bardot or Marilyn Monroe. Just stay as sweet as you are. Look, honey, I'll be home in less than an hour to take my brown-haired beauty to dinner. <laughs> hey, you're supposed to say yay. Yay! <laughs> you uh, don't sound too pleased. Well, well I, I am, honey. I, I'm, I'm very pleased. It's just that I don't think I can go. Well, why not? Well, it's my hair. It's... Well, I know it's a mess, honey, but you'll get it looking fine. You always do. No, it... Uh... Well, I shampooed it, and I don't think it'll be dry in time, honey. So you go ahead to the restaurant, and um, I'll meet you there in a... If... How long will it take you to dive back? Well, about an hour, but why do you want to... In about an hour. So don't come home. <laughs> will you please calm down? It's just dinner. What are you so excited about? Well, uh... I'm just excited about going out to dinner with you. See, I'll be home in less than an hour, and I'm on my way. Bye. No, no, Rob, Rob, wait. Oh. Millie, you've got less than an hour to turn me back into a brunette. Well, why don't you let Rob see you this way? Because I look like Harpo Marx. <laughs> well, all right, but I don't know if I can do it in an hour. Well, you just said you could. Well, I know, but I just remembered. I don't have your shade in stock. I used it all up on myself last week. Oh, what are you doing? I'll have to call a drugstore. Well, how long will it take? Until I'm finished dialing. <laughs> no, I need to dial it back. Well, I'll ask him to rush it. Hello. Hello? How fast can you get a bottle of number three brown hair coloring to 148 Bonnie Meadow Road? It's an emergency. A what? An emergency! <laughs> a hair coloring emergency? Yes! Is this a rib? It's no rib. Is that you, Phil? <laughs> no, it's not, Phil. It's Mrs. Helper. Oh, 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 Mrs. Helper, yes, fine. Uh, now, 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 don't get excited, and I'll get it over to you as fast as I can. Come on. Billy, we'll never get up there. Come on. Lori. Rich? Where is everybody? What are you doing in there? Playing that, Chad. Oh, well, how's business? Terrible. Uh -huh. All right, I'll tell you what. Here is a tip for you. Thanks. Hey, did you bring me anything, Daddy? Rich, I just gave you the baseball cards. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. 
Rich, where's your mommy? She's in the bedroom, coloring. Oh. <laughs> Coloring. Well, hi, Millie. Hi. Don't go in there. Huh? Uh, you were going in the bedroom, weren't you? Well, yeah. Why? Well, just don't. Well, what, is Laura in there? Yes, she is. But well, well, is she, she all right? Anything happened, Millie? Uh, well, no. She's all right. Millie, but... I'm her husband. If anything's happened... Laura? Rob, but... trust me. Go away and come back in an hour. I will not. Laura, are you all right? Don't come in. Why not? Because I don't want you to. Oh, this is getting ridiculous. Laura, are you all right? I'm, I'm fine. Just go away. If you go away and come back in one hour. I'm not going away and come back in any hour. Now, please, Millie. I'm going to stay here till I find out what this is. A... Laura. Laura, this is my house. You're my wife. And this is my door. <laughs> Open it up and let me in there. Laura, Laura, now I'm serious. Laura, listen to the tone of my voice. <laughs> Laura, now you know this tone, don't you? Laura, I am not a violent man, but unless you're out of there by the time I count three, I'm gonna bust this door down. Go away! Laura, I'm serious. <laughs> One, two... Don't open it, Mommy! Don't open it! Rich, go to your room and look at your baseball cards. Can I see a bus I am not going to bust the door down. I want to bust that door down. <laughs> Where was I? One. Thank you. <laughs> One, two, three. Bleaching your hair blonde. We're not bleaching her hair blonde. <laughs> I suppose it's turning by itself. We are dyeing it back to its natural color. Laura's been a blonde all afternoon. All afternoon. Honey, why? Why? Well, yesterday morning, and I kissed you, and you said, don't do that. And you came down to breakfast in your yucky shirt. And the orange juice with the flesh of bits and sneezes. And the gray hair. And the purple mind. And the general yuckiness. <laughs> I understand, honey. I understand. You do? Uh, I think I'll come back after dinner and finish the job. Bye. Oh, uh. <laughs> It certainly is. That's good. Oh, you think Mama's prettier with brown hair, too? No, I think she's prettier with yellow. You do? Mm -hmm. Well, then why are you so happy about her turning brown again? Because I don't want her to look prettier. I want her to look like Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> 